Hello, hold on, y'all. Let me get this together now. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Lady Scorpius Several. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we'll be reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2023. This will be a three card general reading, so please take the messages that resonate and leave the rest behind. As always, if you guys would like to check out what's going on personally in your life, you can book a reading on my website, ladyscorpiusterra.com, as well as check out my Botanica shop on there, where you will see all my beautiful spiritual products that I make by hand on my website. Um, you guys, I have added some new features to my description box. Um, if you look at the description box below, if you guys would like to tip the channel, I do have a link to tip the channel on there. You guys, the tips will help me get a better camera, you know, get some new decks, um, and create some new decks. Because I'm in the process of creating, uh, um, an Oracle deck, a money Oracle deck. So, stay tuned for that. Um, and also, you guys, I have added a subscription box or subscription link to my, um, description box. And it's from my website. So, if you guys would like to subscribe to LadyScorpiusTarot.com. Go ahead and click that link when you can do so. And what I will do for my subscribers that subscribe to my website, I'll make a separate channel for you all where I'll do multiple readings per month for you guys exclusively, okay? So get into that and check that out. Once again, this is for my Capricorn. We're going to be getting into it using my Oracle deck created by me, the Flower Child Oracle. It is on my website for pre-order if you're interested in it. We're going to be using three cards or pulling three cards to see what's going on for the month of June for y'all, okay? Once again, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. And shout out to my new subscribers. All right, Universal Spirit Angel sending out some messages. Blah, blah, blah. Please give me messages for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of ooh, June 2023. What messages do you have for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2023? I ask for you to get messages out of love, light, and clarity for my Capricorn. What is coming towards my Capricorn spirit? What is the energy surrounding Capricorns for the month of June 2023? Please give me messages out of love, like clarity, the Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2023, Spirit. What is the energy surrounding my Capricorns? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, we got three cards that pop right on out. Ooh, these are good cards. Okay, so the overall energy, wow. <laughs> okay, so in my deck, so I do have some, some messages in here. And the message that popped out for the overall energy for Capricorn is, I have deep feelings for you, but it's hard for me to express. So Capricorn, either you have deep feelings for somebody right now, you have not been expressing these feelings to the, for this person, because it's like, you know, maybe your throat chakra could be blocked. Maybe, you know, you've been going through some type of insecurities when it comes to love. Maybe you haven't been speaking to this person. It could be some type of separation. Um, but some of you guys have a lot of feelings or deep feelings for a person that you're surrounded by or surrounding by, okay? Um... Or that's in your energy, okay? Without whoever you have these deep feelings for, maybe spirit is calling for you to kind of like speak your mind and step up and you know speak your truth because you never know what what that might do, okay? It could bring something together that you could that you could be wanting to manifest, okay? Or like I said, this could be if this is not how you're feeling, someone is feeling like this about you. You can have somebody that has um that's around you right now that have a lot of deep feelings for you, but they're just not talking to you right now. They're not speaking up. Maybe they haven't felt the strength or courage to do so, okay? So take it at how it resonate. But the first card we have is career. The second card we have is health. This is up your alley. <laughs> and then the third card we have is new cycle. So Looking at the month of June, it's looking like for my Capricorns, you guys are going to be focusing on your career. You do have somebody around you in your energy field or that that's that's filling you, that has like a lot of deep love for you or passion for you. But like I said, it could be some type of like miscommunication or like you guys are not speaking or this could be you. But I feel like overall what your main focus is for the month of June is really like getting your money up or your career. Some of you guys could be starting new businesses. If you already have an established business, you can just be pouring into that more. Maybe getting some getting more into advertising and promoting your business. Maybe kind of coming up with new ideas, um, new ways to grow your business or whatever the case may be. I feel like career is very much important for you guys. Some of you guys might even be starting a new career as well, starting a new job. So congratulations if you have I've got a new job offer, whatever the case may be. I do feel like health is very important. Spirits want you to pay attention to your health for the month of June. Okay, you guys could just be focusing more on your health. I feel like maybe some of you guys are maybe like, you know, maybe putting yourself on a diet or maybe eat more fruits and vegetables. Maybe you're wanting to incorporate more exercise into your lifestyle. Whatever this is, you guys are really, really paying attention to your lifestyle and making changes or working out more. Whatever this is, like I said, whatever this is, it's like some type of lifestyle change that, you know, that's some type of health. You know, things are, your health could be affected right now or you guys could just be like hyper-focused on your health for the month of June and trying to improve it, okay? A lot of you guys are feeling more healthier or for others of you, if you have had a health scare, this is going, this month is going to actually 
wake you the fuck up <laughs> to see how important your health is because your health is really your wealth okay we always go after our money and we work hard because a lot of us are ambition and um, ambitious we, we want to go after that money we want to go after that coin that stability but without that health you can't work right without good health you can't work and get to the bag so really your health is your wealth and spirit is wanting you guys to focus on that for the month of june okay we have new cycles here so it's some type of new cycle that's opening up i, I see the new cycle in my deck as the will of fortune so great new things are coming towards you like i said rap this is like improved health okay new job opportunities new money opportunities coming in for you someone may be wanting to express how they truly feel they could be coming towards you in the month of june renewal of love for some of you guys whatever this is it's like new cycles is here for you so we're going to get into it we're going to be using my tarot deck the omega land deck one of my favorite decks that i rarely see anybody use and we're going to be seeing what's going on for the month of june y'all okay and I'm using this deck because y'all earth energy and this this kind of speaks to like earth energy to me. So let's see what the Mega Land deck has to say. Alright, Spirit Clarify. Um Clarify career. Why is the career card here for my Capricorn for the month of June 2023? Spirit. Clarify the career card, Spirit. Why is the career card here for my Capricorn? Some move rising and Venus for the month of June. Clarify the career card for Capricorn Spirit. What is the energy surrounding career for Capricorn? Okay. Yeah, we have the death card, a page of coin, and judgment. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have just recently left a career. Okay, with the death card, some of you guys mess some up. You could some of you guys be connected to a Scorpio. Could have a Scorpio balls, <laughs> a leader. But I feel like others of you, for the most part, like you could have been in a career where so you felt like it was dead. It was old. It was outdated. You wanted some type of renewal. You want to be doing something new in your life. And so some of you guys could have took that leap of faith to end this, to end this career or in this opportunity or this job that you were once in. Okay. I'm feeling like that for some of you guys. Okay. I feel like maybe you this devastated your boss or your supervisor or your employees. They could have not seen it coming. But a lot of you guys are going through a, a renewal right now. You know, death represents a rebirth. So whatever this is, you want to rebirth with your career. You know, you wanted something new, something, um, you know something new something refreshing something that's going to give you some type of new skill set okay you wanted to get out of the old mundane uh career that you was once in maybe it could have got repetitive okay you could have been judging the situation with the judgment card here scorpio energy you you could have made a judgment call like a final judgment call on this career opportunity with this career that you was once in and some of you guys was like fuck this shit like i don't like what i'm doing right now for this career or for my career and like i'm looking at everything i'm doing i'm making a final judgment call and it's time to go and with the page of coins you guys could have got a new opportunity that came in like a new career opportunity could have came in for you um and it could have been like more abundant okay and maybe some of you guys could have even like was looking for a raise or you know increase in your wages uh, when it came to the, the job that you was currently in and it just wasn't given so it was like you decided to move forward and end it with the death card okay you decided to get the fuck out of there and go towards a new opportunity with the page of coins some type of message will be coming in about a new opportunity to make money a new job offer a new career after you guys have made the decision to leave something behind okay maybe some of you guys are rebirthing your your opportunity if you aren't ready if you if you didn't leave a job behind and you are in your own say if you have your own business or you know whatever the case may be some of you guys could be like kind of ending the old way that you did shit with your job or your career or your business and you're trying to renew it or you're trying to revamp yourself or bring in fresh ideas new ideas or whatever the case may be yeah we had the justice card some of you guys were in an unfair workplace okay you were in an unfair workplace or so things wasn't fair where you were at you didn't like the injustice that was going on at work or in this career field that you were in and you decided to fucking get the fuck out of it okay because you wanted things to be fair and balanced and for others of you you guys could be getting a job offer dealing with law you could be working for a legal firm or working for the department of justice or uh, the police department or agency or something with law the courthouse the court system some of you guys could be stepped into a new job that's going to be like maybe law legal legalities or whatever the case may be but yeah i feel like i said for others of you you just wanted things fair and balanced when it came to your career so let's move on to health clarify the health card why is the health card here for my capricorn for the month of june 2023 why is the health card here for my capricorn for the month of june 2023 Okay, give me a message on love line clarity and clarify the health card for Capricorns for the month of June 2023. Spirit, that's a health card here. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of June 2023. Ooh, spirit, don't want me to hear what's going on with your health. What's going on with ooh? Okay, now that's too many cards. <laughs> that's too many cards that popped out. I'm gonna take all these cards, I want to give y'all a fair shuffle. 
But let's see. Alright, let's see. Let's see what's going on with John Health. Clarify the health card for my Capricorn. Alright, okay. So some of you guys, um, a lack of sleep. We had a nine of swords, okay? In reverse. Um the page is always in reverse. Some of you guys have not been focusing on your health as much as you should. Or maybe you have been waking up to how your health has been affecting your sleep or affecting your uh, your energy levels, okay? We have the, oh, that's not in reverse. It's upright. We have the nine of swords upright. So a lot of you guys, like, you could be, like, lacking sleep. You could have a lot on your mind. Some of you guys could be dealing with, like, mental health issues or depression or anxiety. Um, some of you guys might even have, like, some type of issues, like, in the face. Like, a health issue surrounding your face or pains or aches or headaches or migraines or something like that i'm seeing so if that's the case spirit saying yeah eat more like greens you know with chlorophyll that can help you okay help you with you know you're cleaning your blood out getting oxygen and shit to your brain and some of you guys need to do like meditation more breaths like breathing techniques exercise yoga um definitely meditation but i feel like the page of swords maybe some of you guys um like, maybe some type of truth came out about your health, okay? Maybe you could have went to the doctors and the truth came out or you or you could be just seeing shit for what it is, okay? Somebody could be talking to you about your health. You could be talking to, like, some type of professional about your health, okay? Whatever it was, it was a burden to you, okay? Maybe some of you guys could have even be for a small group of you guys, you were overweight or you were just overstressed. You felt like you had a lot on your back or you was carrying a lot of weight, a lot of stress on your back. And so a lot of you guys need to put down any burdens, any heavy loads, any heavy burdens. Maybe some of you guys lift a lot for work or could be overlifting if you're in the gym. Try not to overlift because I don't want some of you guys to like fuck around and have a fucking heart attack or a stroke because you're working out too hard. Because that can definitely happen for some of my Capricorns. I know some of you guys like to go hard in the gym, but pay attention. Don't overwork yourself this month. Focus on going slow and steady, okay? But with the Ace of Wands, it's like something new and passionate came out. Some of you guys are getting passionate about your health again. I'm seeing that, okay? Some of you guys are taking action with your health again, okay? Maybe some of you guys were on the go too much with the Knight of Swords. You could have been traveling a lot for work or always on the go, and that could have affected your health too. Maybe some of you guys drive long distance for work. Whatever this is, it's like a lot of fast-moving action could have affected your health, always on the go. Um, some some of you guys also, like with the th Three of Swords here, somebody could have betrayed you or stabbed you. Some of you guys could have gotten into a, a fight, a heated argument, um, and it could have affected your health, okay? Um, some type of third party as well, like betrayal, depression, you know, third party energy surrounding love. That could have even fucked with your health, you know? Like I said, depression, anxiety, um, traumas that you were going through, but your health is very important. So spirit is wanting you to really, really focus on that right now, okay? And like I said, and like I said, it could be a relationship that really, really fucked with your health, your mental health. A marriage, a connection. Um, you guys need to walk away. Spirits want you to walk away from anything that's emotionally not serving you, anything that's emotionally draining you, that's emotionally depleting you. Okay? Um, move away from that. Move away from negative energy. Go towards more positive energy. Some of you guys might even have negative influences around you that's draining you, that's draining you and affecting your health. Okay? Perfect. It could be a marriage as well for some of you guys or a, a partnership. Some of you guys can be also talking, need to talk to like a priest or a pastor or a healer or a shaman, um, spiritualist, um, a therapist. Some of you guys could be talking to a therapist about your health or about your mental health um, because you've been juggling a lot, okay? But it's time for a new start with Ace of Coins. Like I said, a new job coming in in order for you to get something for this new job opportunity for you to accept it and, and you know, flourish in it. You guys will need to like balance things out because I feel like you can be juggling a lot. Like your health, your mental health, your career, your money, your finances. Um, stability a lot okay but you do have a new opportunity coming in to make money with the ace of coins um stability new work new abundance new home um yeah all right let's get into a new cycle let's see i put that back clarify new cycles why is new cycles here for my capricorns for the month of june 2023 Ooh. Four of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Coins, and the Queen of Cups. Some of you guys got Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces coming in. Um, you see this person as um, very stable, and um, they're really good with business and finances. They have like abund they're very abundant. Um, they're all about family and wealth and legacy, or you know, some type of legacy. Or you just see yourself marrying this person. For some of you guys, you you're thinking about a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces woman that you would like to marry, or have longevity with, or have children with a family with. With the Three of Cups here, it's like you want to re reconcile with them or reconnect with them 
in married them with the four wands. Yeah, some of you guys want to get married. Wow, Capricorn. That's why we have, I have deep feelings for you, but it's hard for me to express. Some of you guys, you want a new cycle with a, a water sign individual, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be an earth sign or a, a fire sign. Like I said, you could be wanting to reconcile with this person, reunite with this person, to express your love or show them that you truly love them. Maybe you realize how much love that you had for them at one point in time or how much love they really truly gave you, how you could have seen yourself marrying them, being a home, like homemaking with them, like building a business with them in abundance but i feel like you guys maybe haven't really expressed that and for others of you you know you could have you could be a capricorn but you could have like you know water in your chart okay you guys could be if not like this is like i said you could just you could just be starting a new cycle with a person that you fell in love with some of you guys fell in love with somebody that you reconciled with or reunited with it could be somebody that you knew from a from the past or whatever the case may be or you could have met them at a party or event or a gathering Whatever this is, but I feel like whatever this is, the Ten of Coins and the Four of Wands, you definitely see yourself marrying this person or living with this person, having longevity, you know, sharing assets, um, legacies. I see that. You guys are wanting a new cycle in love. All right. So I found a Queen of Cups. So I have the Queen of Cups here for my Capricorns for the month of June 2023. Too many cards. So I found a Queen of Cups for my Capricorns for the month of June. A lot of cards. Okay. A lot, a lot of cards. Oh, Empress. So you see this person as an Empress. Some of you guys can be connected to a Taurus. You see this person as an empress, somebody that you can grow th you can grow things with or you can grow with. They're a nurturer. They're abundant, okay? Some of you guys are definitely want to take a leap of faith with, like, a Taurus. Uh, it could be a Taurus woman. Um, we have Aries here with the food card. Scorpio, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces woman. Okay, you guys see this person as abundant. Um, you can see this, you know, having a children with this person, family. Others of you. You know, maybe you want to impregnate, impregnate this person. <laughs> for my Capricorn man, you can see yourself like this person being the mother of your child or vice versa. For my woman, you see your per yourself having a family with this person and being, you know, the mother of their child. But with the star cards, some of you guys are wishing upon a star for this to come back together or for things to reunite. This is divine timing here. You guys will want to take that leap of faith. You're wanting to move towards more calmer waters with the Six of Swords, okay? You want to get out your head and, you know, find a light at the end of the tunnel. The Six of Swords always represents, you know, moving away from negative waters or confusion and conflicts and going towards peace and prosperity and you know enlightenment and you know i feel like you guys would want to kind of like if if this was a person from your past maybe you want a new cycle with them maybe you want to move away from whatever that happened in the past and go towards something new maybe some of you guys are even get in therapy and you feel like maybe you're in a better mental space to go towards this person now with the chariot card cancer energy you guys could be wanting to take control of your life and or travel towards this person okay you could be going on a trip but I feel like the other stuff, you guys are wanting to rush in or travel to towards this person, okay? Um, you could be wanting to drive to their house, see them. Others of you could have just recently got a new car. Um, but I feel like the sun car, yeah, some type of cycle. It's like you, this person could have ended something with you or you ended something in the past with this person. Or some type of burdens or betrayal could have caused an ending. But I feel like the sun car, somebody's wanting to renew something. They're wanting to bring in renewal, bring in some type of peace, some type of renewal, abundance, um, hopefulness, playfulness, um enlightenment to the situation again okay with the emperor card yeah empress and emperor and two of cups yeah you love this person this is a pair right here the empress and the emperor this is a soulmate that you in love with you love this person but you haven't really spoke your truth to this person um capricorn you see yourself being with this person marrying this person okay and wanting to like renew the connection after healing or have to after going through some type of heartbreak or some type of trauma or betrayal okay Something fucked up the connection in the past. And I feel like some of you guys are willing to invest and work on this with the seven of coins. You're willing to work it out and work on it with, with a new cycle, okay? And like I said, Capricorn, this is not true. This is how someone is feeling about you right now, okay? We have the Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, this could be that. They're still holding on to you. Someone is still holding on to you or you're still holding on to them because it's like somebody's wanting to leave something in the past behind and go towards something new with you. Um, they can see they self, they self, like, you know, going the distance with you. Okay, but it's going to be very slow moving with the Knight of Cups. I mean, Knight of Coins. This is your energy. So you could be very slow moving to make this new offer or to open up this new cycle and start this new beginning. Or this is how they're doing you. They could be very slow moving to go towards you, okay? But I feel like if they do move towards you and start this new cycle, it can lead to something very beautiful, very prosperous. Forgiveness, love, abundance, family, legacy. Okay, but it's all about if you're going to, you know, renew this or trust this person, Capricorn. 
We have the Nine of Cups overindulging. So um, try not to overindulge. But I do feel like this is a wish fulfillment. This is a wish fulfillment for you to, for this person to reach out to you passionately and restart this shit with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Wands. You're waiting for a passionate message to come in about restarting and rekindling or somebody to make a solid offer towards you with the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're waiting for that solid offer, that solid commitment. If not, you're going to be single. You're going to focus on your own abundance with the Nine of Coins, okay? If, the, if this person ain't coming in. I feel like you guys have a wish fulfillment or somebody that you're waiting on. You're waiting on this person, but, like, stay grounded during this time. And stay, you know, keep your peace because I feel like whoever you're dealing with, maybe they got to come out their own ego, you know, and they got to come out their own ego. Maybe you guys got to come out your own ego to make this offer to this person. Um, but I do feel like, for the most part, you still got some good things coming towards you. New job, you know, improvement in health. Um, I just feel like maybe your love life is just not what you want it to be. It's like that's the renewal that you want. You know, you want a, a rekindle of love or you want love. It's like that's the only thing that you feel like you're missing right now. All right, but stay, stay, stay patient with yourself. Now let's get a spiritual as fuck card from my spiritual as fuck deck to see what advice spirit has for you. Spirit, give me one card for my Capricorn from this spiritual as fuck deck. What advice do you have for Capricorn? Too many cards. Give me one card only for my Capricorn. What advice do you have for Capricorn? Ooh, okay. All right, so the card that came out for Capricorn was. You are not required to set yourself on fire to keep other people warm. Wow, let's repeat that again. Capricorn, you are not required to set yourself on fire to keep other people warm. It says, you know how you can tell if someone is taking advantage of you? You feel like shit after giving to them. That shit isn't healthy for anyone. Put the matches down and back away. They can get warm on their own. Now go do something kind for yourself. That's better service to the world. So yeah, if you guys have been dealing with a shitty person that you've been overcompensating for and you want to renew this shit, but you know they ain't no fucking good. Spirit of saying, take, you know, let that shit go. You know somebody's taking advantage of you. Like I said, some of you guys would be, like I said, your relationship is affecting your health, okay? You overgiving to this person can be affecting your health. You could be going through a lot of depression, anxiety, but some of you guys need to get some, you know, seek therapy and, you know, so you can get some clarity in this matter or you can get a personal reading on my website okay but it's like if you feel like if you feel like shit after giving to a person then you know that you're not in a healthy situation that you need to release yourself from this person okay or the situation just to focus on your own mental health and stay grounded all right so that's the card i have for you guys let's see if i can pull a crystal card with my camera die where we at 21 i don't know let's see it says, Spirit says they want you to work with Kyanite, a very special stone that retains no negative energy and never requires a cleansing. Kyanite is known to open up the throat chakra and encourage self-expression and communication in our world and our psychic plane. It also enhances hidden telepathic and psychic abilities. So work with Kyanite this month to tap into your psyche, your psychic abilities, you know, open up your throat chakra and cleanse negative energy from your space, honey. Get you some Kyanite, all right? So that's what I have for the month of June. I hope you guys love these messages. If they resonate, leave a comment below because I do reply back. Um, give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys would like to book a reading, my website is in the link below, the description box below, LadyScorpiusTarot.com. I love y'all. Peace.